All right, let's talk about linked lists using classes. So first of all, I'm going to create two classes. First class is my node class. So my node class is just going to store a basically a value. So you got private value. So int value, and it's also going to store a link to another or a pointer to another node. So I get this node star next. So that is how I get to another node. Now, these nodes are going to be a whole bunch of them basically scattered throughout memory where each one points to another node. And by traversing these links pointing to each other of nodes, you can get all the values. So kind of like an array, but scattered all over the place. Now I've got a public section. And in this, I'm going to have a constructor. So a node, let's do an int value. So it has some value that comes in. And we want to have a node, node, next, equals null pointer. So what we're doing is we are basically setting our value internally. So this value is going to equal what gets passed in. And if we pass in a next node, we're going to assign that. Otherwise, it's just going to assign the null pointer. So this next equals our next that gets passed in. All right, so that's a nice, easy constructor there. I also want to have a get value. So int get value. And I just want to return, return my value, this value. Uh, I also want to do a uh, get node and to get next. So the next node. So I'll do a node star get next. And it just returns the next node. Return this next. And then I want to have a set next also. So do a void set next. And that mm -hmm. is going to be uh, assuming that we are changing it sometime later. But I don't think that we're going to be doing that at all here, but we'll go into this. So our next node, and then we're going to have it set so that this next equals next. All right. So now I have my node class done. The next thing I want to do is go ahead and create a linked list. Now I could use this node class directly as is right there in main, but I want to have something that binds it because it is really easy when you're working with pointers to mess things up and break things. So I'll make a class linked list. So I don't have to worry about writing repetitive code and messing things up. In my linked list class, I have a private section and a public section. And in the private section, I am going to have a node node pointer called head. This is traditionally what you call it in, well, anywhere you see linked list, you call it head. So that's the main node that leads to your whole list. Now I'm going to have a constructor for this linked list. And my linked list constructor is going to basically just initialize and set the head. So this head equals null pointer. All right. I'm going to also go ahead and create a destructor later. But right now I want the constructor. The constructor is important because you want to make sure you start with a null pointer. The destructor needs to clean up and that's going to be a really important task and it's going to take a lot of work. But if I can write other functions in there, it'll make it easier. All right. Now, as I go through, I want to have something, a insertion operator for displaying. 
which will just basically just, you know, display what we have inside our link list. I need to have something that will add links. So I'm going to add link. And this is sometimes referred to in other languages as a push operation. So I'll do a push. I'll call push. And then I want something that will remove links. And I'm going to make this a pop operation. And then I'm going to have something that will do maybe uh, something to find the length. So we can run down the list and count. And then I'm going to have something that will find stuff. Find a value. So I can see if there are certain values in my linked list. So think of this linked list as a stringy long array. And that's basically what it is. So let's go ahead and start with our add. The add is probably the easiest one. Basically what you're going to do is you're going to create a new node. And this new node is going to be taking the old head as an argument. So you basically have this node. So you create a new node and the old head is going to be what this next points to. And so basically you're kind of pushing a new node onto the top. And we'll look at that a little bit more as we start to figure out what this is actually doing. So I'll do a void and I'll do a push. And I want to pass in a value because it needs a value for each one of these nodes. And this value is going to be put into a new node. So I've got a new node. That's going to get the value. And it's also going to get the head. So we're going to take this head and we're going to pass it in there. And so that will create a new node that points to the head, whatever the head was pointing to. And now we're going to assign the head to point to this. So our this head now equals this new node. So basically we're just taking a new node, taking the old node, putting it in there and pushing it down. All right, now if we want to remove something, we're going to have to do a lot more work because you have to actually remove it and this might make it easier to figure out what's going on. So I'll do a, an int pop because these are values. So instead of passing a value in, I am passing a value out. Now the value right here is gonna be returned at the end. So return my value. In the middle, I have to figure out, is there actually a value in here? And if there is, I want to grab that value. If not, I want to maybe throw an exception. So if head is not equal to null pointer, and I can use this head, this, then we know that we are in a linked list, we have a linked list, else, we want to throw some kind of exception. So what do we want to throw for an exception? Well, it seems like this would be a, uh, let's see, or maybe a range error, because it's kind of out of range. So list is empty. All right. Okay. So now we've got the error situation taken care of. If there is a problem, we will just throw this, throw an exception and say that the list is empty. But what if there is something there? Well, we want the value. So the value is going to be equal to whatever that node value is. So this head, right? And from this head, we are going to be getting the value, get value. So that gives our value that we can then return. But we also need to remove the head and shift it up. So I'm going to create a new node, pointer, and this will be my temp node. And that's going to be equal to whatever the head was. So this, 
this. Head. And next, I want to take the head and assign it to whatever the next node was. So this head is going to be equal to my current head. So this head next. And that could be a pointer to another node or it could be the null pointer. Either way, it's going to be changing it. And next, after I've got this taken care of, we have now grabbed the value, we've grabbed that node right there, and we've shifted the head. Now we can delete that previous, well, the temp node. So delete temp, which actually makes some things really easy. We've got this whole thing out here. We are returning the value. And if we want to use my destructor now, I can do that pretty cleanly because I can just do a while loop. So I'll do my tilde link, length list. And all I need to do is just do while the head, this head is not equal to null pointer we know we can just do a pop. We don't really care what's in it. We just pop it out and we're good to go. And that does a nice clean removal. And each one of these items, each one of the nodes gets deleted properly. All right. Now, since we're putting things in here, I want to do an insertion operator so I can see what's in my linked list. So I'll go ahead and do friend std O stream and have my operator for insertion and I'm going to pass into this operator the O stream reference OS for O stream and I'm also going to pass in my const linked list right hand side value right there okay so now inside of this I can print out whatever I want to print out um, and I'm gonna make this prettier because I want to display all of the items in the linked list and they're all different numbers right so I'm gonna do a for loop for my node and my current node is going to be equal to whatever is in the right hand side's head. So the head node right there. And then I'm going to make sure I keep going through this, this list until I find a null pointer. So as long as the current node is not equal to the null pointer, then I can go down to the next one. So cur node equals my current node get next. So I can go down this list. And for each one of these nodes, I want to display the value. So I do OS and I will get my current node. And from that current node, I want to get the value and then display it. However, if I do this, because each one of these values is a number, they'll all be just crammed together in a nice long bulk list. So I want to put a space in there, but I only want to put a space if there is another node after it. So if my current node uh, get next is not equal to the null pointer, that means I still have more nodes to go. Then I'm going to go ahead and pass in a space. All right. So this will take care of my insertion operator. So it'll just print out a little space in between each one of these. And then there we go. All right. So now I want to, let's try and see if any of this stuff works, first of all. So I'm going to create a linked list. And my linked list is going to be called, well, list sounds like a great name. And my linked list now needs to have some things added. So I'll add um, the number one and push another two 
let's copy that. Let's do a three, a four, and a five. Now I want to figure out if I can display this list. So let's see out list and end up. So now I'm going to go ahead and run this and we'll see what happens. Does it print out the list? It prints out five, four, three, two, one. You'll notice something interesting. I put the numbers in one, then two, then three, then four, then five. But when it displays it, it displays it as five, four, three, two, one. Because each time I'm adding an element or a node to the list, it's putting it at the top. And it's pushing everything down. All right, so now we have this list. It's working. So let's go ahead and put list after adding. There we go. Now I want to figure out some other things. First of all, um, we have to figure out how long is the list? So how do we do that? Well, we actually have a loop right here, a for loop. And this for loop, we can just copy this for loop and then change it a little bit. So I'll go down here and find the length. So I will do a int get or maybe just length, length, and so I need an integer count maybe for the length. I'll set it to zero, and then I'll paste in that code I copied from above. I don't have the right hand side, but I do have a this. So I'm going to create a node, current node, which points to the head, and then as long as it's not pointing to a null pointer, I'm going to just go to the next one. And inside of this. I am going to just do a count plus plus. That's it. And then I can return my count. All right, let's figure out this length thing works now. All it's doing is just walking down the list and counting things. So let's do this. See how it length length and we'll do a list dot length all right so I run this it should have a list length of five and it says that the well it didn't actually say that and it has this weird error code which means that it crashed which means I did something wrong in my list length. So let's go up here. So I've got a count and I'm getting a current node which pointed to this head. And while it's not the null pointer, it's going through and it's counting and getting the next one. And then it just adds to this right there. Let's go ahead and think that it looks pretty good. There is a risk that possibly we didn't do something. Let's see. Let's see. So it crashes when I display stuff right here. So it's probably either um, the list or the length. Uh, I think I forgot to return my, oh, that's right here. So let's go ahead and run that and see if that fixes it. All right. Okay. So don't forget that part right there. Um, okay. So now it's returning my account right here. And... The insertion operator is working correctly because I'm returning my O stream right here. I've got length taken care of. Now let's see if I can do a find a value. And find a value is pretty much the same thing as length. I mean, I, I can even copy the same code right here and then modify it. So copy that code, paste it right here. 
and change this to a boolean value and then I'll do a find find and I'll do an integer value and I just need to decide did I find the value and I go down this list and then say if the current node get value equals value then I just return true otherwise I return false so it's kind of easy you can just search through it really quickly and find something all right so let's test this finding a value and figure out if that works so true is going to be one and false is going to be zero oops so control c so i'm going to do a find right here find and i'll find three and then i'll try finding six we know there's gonna be a three so that shouldn't be too hard find three and we'll do a find six and we know there is not a six so if i run this i should have a five so find three one and then find six zero I'll run this and i can see that yes it does say find three one and find six zero all right now i need to do some removal of linked list stuff so let's do a list pop and i can display what i'm removing see out it's just so we can see that it's actually removing it removed and what are we removing and then i'll do an end line right here and i can run that a couple times and then I can display the list after I have removed some stuff. So I've removed four different things. Remove, so it should display just the number one. Okay, go ahead and run this. And you can see that it displays remove five, remove four, remove three, remove two, and then list after removing one. Okay, now if I decided to do another pop right here, list pop, then it will completely empty the list. I can run this, and I can see the list is now, well, it's empty. If I do one more after this, the list is below empty, and so this should throw an exception. So I'll run this, and you can see it says terminate after throwing an instance of the std range error this is empty so you can see that this right here is also something you can do just throw in an exception or you could have some way to look at the list and figure out what is left and make sure you're not throwing an exception because you're not actually calling something that would not work all right I hope this gives you an idea of how to use a linked list, how to create a node. Basically, you just have a, it's just a class that has a pointer to an instance of the class, and that way you can have a whole bunch of these things in a list. The linked list then manages the, this list and helps you to add things, remove things, and even display it safely, securely, and works pretty good. All right, there you go, linked list.